today, well, the first one's going to be a Ghost of Eastside Records. We're going to wait and go to that one. And uh, after that, it's all uh, thrift stores, a couple of Goodwills, Salvation Armies, Bon Volantes. <laughs> But first, uh, a touch of the island. Yes, I know yesterday we said we were going to, or the other day we were going to Hawaiian Brothers for lunch and we ended up going to Wendy's because it was just nearby. So we are going to Hawaiian Brothers first for lunch and then we're going to go to the east side. So stay tuned for all the incredible excitement. Who knows what we'll find? Once again, we are not going to Hawaiian Brothers. <laughs> we decided we didn't want to eat in a warehouse. Yeah, it turns out uh, this one, this location is inside the Tempe, the food court, which you think would be a food court, but it's not. It's really just for like DoorDash and Uber, like they don't really have a place to eat. And it's all take up and pick out. It's like whatever, how many different restaurants and some kind of a warehouse thing that you can't even see. So we're like, no. We're just gonna head out to Ghost of Eastside Records. And we're gonna see what we see along the way, like some fast food place or something, whatever, whatever. We do not have Wiener Schnitzel in Hawaii. And actually, they didn't have them in Oregon or South Carolina when I lived there, so I've never been in one. But this looks good to me. Wiener Schnitzel. I got the fries with the chili cheeseburger and the chili dog. How's yours? It's so good. Yeah. It's definitely chili. <laughs> That's the kind of place I can like take my water bottle and my eye drops and my hand sanitizer and spend hours because he had so much stuff. I mean, probably only half of what, well, three quarters of what's in the store was actually priced. Close to the corners. And I'll, then he just had crates and crates everywhere. And like the crates all on the ground, he said, were just a dollar. Some of them were sorted, some of them weren't, everything was a dollar. And then he gave me a deal on that. So I ended up, I don't know how many records, like 60 or something, I don't have to count them. but. I love that place. Insane. Yes. This place advertised that they have records, so we'll see. Okay, so here's the total haul for the day from the Ghost of Eastside Records and a few Goodwills and Salvation Armies and whatever else we went to. In the heat. In the heat. I did actually get one Hawaiian record that I did not have. It was not a dollar. It was a regularly priced record, but I don't have it, which is a very unusual thing. Um... um yeah, Liebert Lindsay and his Kapolaka band didn't have it. And I did get one CD, only one. Uh, Celtic Christmas, Holiday Odyssey, I thought might be nice for um, Radio Green Goddess. It's Celtic stuff, but uh, some interesting titles. Ave Maria might be interesting. Hallelujah Chorus, Feliz Navidad in a Celtic style. Kinda, I'm kind of here for that. Okay.
right? <laughs> now the records, and again, this is combined from everywhere. Uh, yeah, somebody had asked about the prices. You know, I'm, uh, I am have it individually on here, but everything is coming from, everything from East, uh, Ghost of Eastside Records was less than a dollar because he gave me a discount on the dollar records. And the other ones, were th the thrift stores were between a dollar and three dollars. I think that was yeah. it. Yeah. So there we go. So this is everything. Kind of all over the place. Fortuna, a budget label. Got some more Chet Atkins, always good. I hear a Rhapsody. I thought I probably had these, but then I read on here that these are actually new recordings as of this pressing of older songs that he had done. So they're new recordings at the time. This one, very interesting. World of Steve and Edie. I thought it was just a comp when I saw it, but then I looked at it and like, oh, this is not a comp. Um, with the Mike Curb, Curb Congregation featuring the Osmonds. Songs from around the world. That should be interesting. Diplomat Records, this is a budget. Wilson Lou's group and Voices. Interestingly, you think, oh, it's gonna be this and a bunch of like weird songs. It isn't, it's actually one long version of a uh, Butch Cass, raindrops keep falling on my head. It's literally the whole side. And then the other one is, well, you know, it's a whole side of theme for Midnight Cowboy. So, interesting. You can't get enough of either of those two songs. Okay. More Chet Atkins. We will we'll see. I don't think I had this one. I had this other one, Fifth of Beethoven, but I don't think I ever got this one. This was the Pied Piper's favorite Christmas carols. It's got like a chippy thing or whatever you want to call that. So, but you know, the first song's trash, but hey, okay. Well, that's a classic in the Christmas oh, yeah. music circles, truly. Music from the Broadway musical, All American, Leroy Holmes. No idea, but we'll get it. I just got this one of the cover because I love the cover. It's a budget label, but that's just fantastic. I'm very curious to hear this five minute plus one girl. The one girl is doing, uh, it's five like orchestra men, musicians, and one girl. The girl is doing vocalese. She's not singing lyrics. So I'm curious to hear that one. Another budget label wine coat. I love these things. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. The Passion Guitars. Gatefold. Kate Smith, God love her. Even though she's banned or whatever. Um, yellow vinyl. I don't know this guy. I think he's like an English from England, but it's a two record set of all the right kind of songs. So we will see. Here's a, what is it? Halo, Ultraphonic. Same as Halo, basically. Pops and Pops, where they just do covers of pop songs of the day, sort of trying to sort of sound like the originals, but love this cover. She's got her little soda bottle there. More Bobby Darren. More of her. And the face lady. <laughs> Montavani. Because I lost a lot of Montavani in the flood. Tenderly, Tommy Dorsey. Don't think I've seen that one before. I have, I've seen yeah. the cover, but I don't have the record. This one, very curious to hear this too. Snuff Garrett, who's responsible for, uh, well, I guess it's Tommy Garrett's 50 Guitars isn't the same person, Snuff and Tommy Garrett. I, I think not know. Brothers or something. But Snuff Garrett produced all kinds of Tijuana-esque sort of stuff and whatever. But uh, Texas Opera Company classical country never seen it before very curious julie andrews and henry mancini music from lou darling lily pretty interesting popular girl yeah parties on me cliffy stone 
from Charleston to waltz to rock and roll to cha-cha. Best things in life are free. Never seen this. I mean, it's a musical. Yeah. She looks a little possessed like or something. Like a wax figurine. <laughs> Gogi Grant. Yeah, some of the photos they used, you're like, really? That was the best one they had? I'm not crazy about live albums. I'd rather not get live albums, but since this one was Judy Garland and Liza together. And live at the Palladium. I thought we should get that one. I don't know that I've seen this one, like just in a bin or whatever. Bing Crosby, I wish you Merry Christmas. Would be interesting to see if that's just a different cover. For Warner sure. Brothers. Warner Brothers. Huh? So it's all, I saw it's early. Yeah. Love Danny K. And this one I got, well, it's Crown, so I love those things, but also uh, Vince Guaraldi on the piano, who I really love that. He's the guy that did all the Charlie Brown musicals. And this one I got for me too, just I'm curious, the drum suite, and it has. All these, I don't know, movements, but kind of interesting. Ted Heath. There's like, I don't know, nine or ten of these. I don't have all the volumes oh, yet. Great. And they're quite good. The, they're one, really the Latin good. theme in that series is, is stellar. Well, I had to get those budget labels, Stradivari strings. I just love the covers and whatever. Skin and Bones. I haven't seen this before. Another Jimmy Durante. Holly Ridge Strings. That's a good one. Yep. Haven't seen this. The Montenegro brand. So, I don't know. A couple of K-Star records. Sarah Vaughn. This one really for the cover alone. These are the Fazio Crown. He had a bunch of these and uh, I only got a couple just because I was interested in the music, but he had a whole bunch. Mel Torme. Hannah Brooks. Members of the Betty Goodman Orchestra. Budget label, Fontana and his orchestra. 12 for Two in Love. Quiet Music, Volume 3. Curious about this one, music for Swinging Dancers. This Peter German Guy Orchestra. Looks like it's actually in Spanish, I don't know, but the Misty Little Red Apple, New York, New York. Be interesting. This one's hard to read. While waiting for you, what is this? Emil Stern. Okay, that's it. That's my haul. That's all I got today. Just those few. <laughs> Shipping department will be busy tomorrow. Yes. All right. Subscribe if you want to see more. We'll talk to you later.